castles still line the mountains either side of me. However, the weather has taken a nosedive. Rain has started falling from the clouds that have stolen the blue skies. But more terrifying than Dracula are the thunderstorms that now surround me. Normally, if you find yourself flying towards thunderstorms, you run away and fly in the opposite direction. I am already flying low down the valley that was my last resort, and turning round in a quick orbit fills me with dread. The skies are dark all round. Airliners avoid thunderstorms like the plague, as they can even bring down big aircraft. I am now surrounded by thunderstorms, being tossed about in fragile axon. You can see and hear the rain hitting me and my goggles. The only bit of my face that is uncovered is my forehead, which is being stung with the rain once more. Wiping my goggles frequently, I am trying to stay alert, being so cold, whilst picking suitable fields for a crash landing, if I cannot find a way through these thunderstorms. In small aeroplanes, the saying goes, if you can see through the rain, you can fly through it. If you cannot see through the rain, then do not even attempt to fly through it. Sounds simple advice, but what happens when all around you is rain that you cannot see through? Why is the weather so bad? I ask myself again. After flying past Dracula's castle, it feels as if the darkness is taking over on this adventure right now. I am now down to 500 feet and have given up on the GPS, instead following the river just like the early pioneers. I have to say I wanted to honour Amy, not actually relive the terror. Even though I have only been flying for an hour and a half, I have not been able to hear anyone on the radio for what seems like hours. Line of sight radio is what the communications VHF radio works on, which is why I cannot hear anyone, as I am flying so low in the mountains the reception will be blocked. Knowing this, and wanting to hear a friendly voice on the radio, are two entirely different things. I have switched over frequency to Sibiu Approach, and am making blind calls. Sibiu Approach, this is Axon, tracking along the A1 Autobahn, towards Sibiu, flying 500 feet, avoiding thunderstorms, do you read me? Nothing heard on the radio means that if I crash, they will not know where to start searching. I look at the tracker with the red button and did not think I would be needing this so soon. I cannot carry on flying in this rain, as it is getting harder, and flying through cloud is not an option, as I would hit the mountains. Real pioneer life-or-death decisions are needed. I start to search for a decent field to attempt a powered force landing into, as the rain is pelting down now with the turbulent shaking poor Axon and me relentlessly. Feeling the adrenaline flooding my system, I breathe deeply to calm myself and remember the training. Brace, 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 as they say in the commercial jets. Prepare for crash landing.